Let's take a look at hemoglobin, the pigment that binds and carries the oxygen within the red blood cell. It consists of four polypeptide chains. If you look at the illustration on the right, you'll notice four different colors. Each color represents a polypeptide chain. Each polypeptide chain has two components, a globin protein, which is made up of amino acids, and a heme group, which contains an iron. The iron is what binds with oxygen. In this illustration, the heme is the square and the iron is the red ball. When a red blood cell is broken down, the hemoglobin is also broken down. Heme without the iron is called bilirubin. The iron is reused for the synthesis of new hemoglobin, and the bilirubin, what remains of the heme, is transported to the liver, placed within the bile, and eliminated from the body with the feces. If the liver isn't functioning correctly, bilirubin can build up in the tissues, and this condition is called jaundice. There are 250 million hemoglobin molecules in each red blood cell, and each hemoglobin can bind with four oxygen molecules. So a red blood cell can carry a total of one billion oxygen molecules. I arrived at this number by taking the 250 million and multiplying it times the four. Let's now talk about carbon monoxide poisoning. Carbon monoxide is due to incomplete combustion of fossil fuels. It has a higher affinity for the iron than oxygen. What this means is that it will bind more quickly and more strongly to the iron than oxygen. If I have a molecule of carbon monoxide and a molecule of oxygen, the carbon monoxide will more than likely be the molecule that binds. Therefore, instead of transporting oxygen to the tissues, you will be transporting carbon monoxide. Recall that 98.5% of oxygen is transported to the tissues bound on the hemoglobin. Only 1.5% of oxygen is transported dissolved in the plasma. The 1.5% is not enough to allow the cells to synthesize the ATP they require to stay alive. The individual then exposed to carbon monoxide poisoning will die from suffocation a lack of oxygen, and the inability to synthesize enough ATP for cellular work. Let's look at some terminology that you will need to know. Oxyhemoglobin is hemoglobin that has oxygen bound to the irons. We can use the symbol Hb for hemoglobin and attach an oxygen molecule to it. Deoxyhemoglobin or reduced hemoglobin is hemoglobin that has unloaded or released the oxygen bound to the iron. This happens at the tissues and we can use this symbol to represent deoxyhemoglobin. In addition to carrying oxygen, hemoglobin also binds with some carbon dioxide. However, the carbon dioxide does not bind to the iron. It binds to an amino acid on the globin. When a carbon monoxide binds to the amino acid on a hemoglobin, the hemoglobin is called carb amino hemoglobin. The amino here refers to the amino acid to which the carbon dioxide binds. 